Now, the other guys cross town, I'll let you express an opinion about what UCLA football has become. I mean, yeah, UCLA is, I mean, it's interesting because there is all the drama going on with this potential move to the Big 12, um, or excuse me, to the Big 10. Um, but Chip Kelly is is the head coach at UCLA. I mean, how many teams has he been the head coach for in college football, in the NFL? This guy's been around a lot, keeps getting opportunities. Um, but UCLA is still – they were they had a winning record last year, but it wasn't that great. I was really disappointed because I thought the minute they hired Chip Kelly, I said this will be the reinvention of what he did at Oregon, and it didn't work out that way. He didn't recruit the same type of kid. He ran a very different offense. They had quarterback issues. He ran off a lot of players. He, he's cut from a different cloth from a personality standpoint. You know, when we think of coaches in the Pac-10, obviously the name that flashes out you in neon lights is Pete Carroll and his persona. Mm. This guy is a recluse. This guy doesn't care about anything except Bruins football. And by the way, Bruins football has not been very good mm. the last group of years. He's had only one winning season. I think his record is 18 and 25 in Westwood, which is not very good. No, now, not at all. that being said, uh, he's got a fourth year starting quarterback and Dorian Thompson Robinson, who's a very competitive kid, has kind of grown through the program. He's got a huge running back from the University of Michigan as part of the transfer package, Zach Charbonnet. Uh, but he's he's lost offensive linemen. He's had injuries. He's had guys had to retire because of health issues. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. They are playing a really substandard rank schedule out of the gate. UCLA opens with Bowling Green, <laughs> bottom bottom feeder in the Mid American Conference. Right. Their second game is against a one double A team from the SWAC Conference, Alabama State. Oh, man. The third game is South Alabama. That's not much much of a, a schedule. It's you're gonna, a cupcake schedule, right? Yeah, you'll go three and zero, but will we know how good you really are? And yeah. why? Why are you bringing these teams into the Rose Bowl? To, yeah, I mean, you have payday games. You're not going to sell tickets to that. People don't want to see Bowling Green, right? So, I mean, if you look at the opening weekend of the schedule, there's some big games on that schedule. Later in the season, after they get their three cupcake wins. Uh, UCLA is, is going to wind up playing some tougher people. They do get Utah. They do get Washington. They do get Oregon at the end of the year, although a couple of those games are going to be in the Rose Bowl. So they, they could have a, a pretty good season until they get towards the tail end of the schedule. But your UCLA play some quality people. Yeah, I mean, we goodness. expect something from UCLA, especially, you know, when USC is such a, you know, storied history. UCLA has sort of been right there with them. They've been their little sister to a degree, but UCLA has a brand. They have stature. Um, they should be, you know, one of the top, maybe not a top 10 team like Utah, but definitely top 20, top 30 kind of a program. Should not be playing Alabama State no, and those people in, in a non-conference game. 